Hello there. Um, this video will show you how you can create a quiz um, uh, and get it proctored with an auto proctor. So if you haven't yet created a test, um, on your screen you'll see a button like this where you can create a test. Um, once you click in, uh, we allow you to choose the test type. Um, auto proctor integrates with Google Forms, Microsoft Forms, other quizzing platforms, but we highly recommend that you choose Socrates quizzes um, and we explain why here. So once you click on the continue button, um, it will take you to your Socrates dashboard uh, where you can see all the quizzes you've created. Uh, because this is a fresh account, uh, there's no quiz yet and so you can click on this, you can add a new quiz. Um, you will then see a very Google Forms like interface. Uh, so let's just add a couple of questions here. Um, then you can set points. Uh, if you want, you could set negative points. Um, you can set some other properties. Um, and then let's add a different question. Now, this is probably not an MCQ kind of question, so you can say maybe it's a short text kind of question. Uh, you can set the number of characters, you can set points again if you want. Um, and then you've added these two questions. Now you can save, the, you can save this, you can add more questions, um, or you can go above and say save and proceed. So this will save the quiz uh, and then take you to the autoproctor setting. Right? So this is where you create the questions. This is where you set the settings of the test. So you could say, uh, I want to enable timer. Uh, maybe I want to give it um, one minute uh, and then there are some other settings within timer um, and then proctor has been enabled um, and so you can come in and say okay these are the different proctor settings that are there uh, for the demo I'm just going to disable these um, and then there are more proctoring settings uh, which you could take a look at and then let's say you save it so now um, this has been saved um, as an auto proctor test um, again, you can change the questions here. Um, you can click the, uh, this to see the results. Um, for now, let me just copy the link. So I've got the link to the test. Um, I open, now I'm logged in as a different user. Um, so let's say this is the candidate taking the test. So they've been given this link. Um, so they paste the link, they go into the test. Um, Autoport is initialized because we're tracking their tab. Um, they need to share the screen. And so they see the questions. Um, let's say they open a different tab. Uh, they go to Google and then they say, what is five plus seven? Uh, and so they get the answer and then, okay. So let's say they come and select this. Um, they bold decisive. Um, and so they're done. Uh, they submit the test. So the candidate has now submitted the test. They will see a screen which tells them that they can see the test summary. Um, now, whether they actually see their responses in the points depends on how you have configured the test. Um, we can look at that in a different video. Um, so let me come back. So this is your screen. Um, you can go, once you've shared the link and so on, you go back to your home page. Um, you see this, um, so test one we just created. Um, it had both proctoring and timers enabled. Um, one candidate started and finished it. Um, you can click into this to see the results. So here you will see um, this was the candidate who took it. Um, and then you can see the trust score. So you click into this to see the report. Um, you can also see the quiz. Uh, you see it says a grade quiz. Uh, it means it's not fully graded. Um, let's look at the quiz part of it first. Um, so here you will see um, five plus seven, the candidate got it right. What is your biggest strength? Um, the candidate has written, it, they're bold and decisive. Uh, you may decide to award them two points. Um, so, the, the quiz is now, this score has been updated, four out of five points. Um, this is the quiz part of it. And then you come in here, you will now see the proctoring part. So, you can see clearly that the candidate switched the tab. Um, this is us opening Google and searching for the answer. Um, and then if you go back here and you reload the page, you will now see that this quiz has been graded at 80%. So um, anything to do with the questions, you open the quiz score. Uh, anything to do with the uh, proctoring, you open the trust score. 